ఉదయానికి ఉత్సాహం మధ్యాహ్నానికి మందగమనం డబుల్ అయ్యేందుకు పడరాని పాట్లు దక్క ముక్కీలు ఆవిరైపోయే అదృష్టాలు పైసా పేకో తమాషా దేకో విచిత్రం త్రుటిలో తారుమారయ్యే వ్యాపార వ్యవహారం స్టాక్లు మార్కెట్లు ఫండ్లు బాండ్లు బిఎస్సి ఎన్ఎస్సి నిఫ్టీ నిశ్చితంగా పరిశీలిస్తూ ముందుకు నడిపించే మీ బిజినెస్ ముచ్చట్లు మార్కెట్ గరంగరంలో మీ బిజినెస్ ముచ్చట్లు గరంగరం माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी भारत की जनता से साझा करेंगे अपने मन की बात रविवार 28 फरवरी सुबह 11 बजे आप भी माननीय प्रधानमंत्री के मन की बात का हिस्सा बन सकते हैं इसके लिए आप अपने सुझाव 26 फरवरी तक टोल फ्री नंबर एक आठ शून्य शून्य एक एक सात आठ शून्य शून्य आरोप रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं या माई गोप के ओपन फोरम में पोस्ट कर सकते हैं तो याद रखें रविवार 28 फरवरी सुबह 11 बजे मन की बात Hello students, welcome to digital classes. Today we will discuss an interesting topic what is inside atom. Children after studying this unit you will be able to understand basic concepts of structure of atoms. You will be able to know about the discovery of electron, proton and neutron and their characteristics. You will be able to describe Thomson, Rutherford and Bohr atomic models. Children, you will be able to understand about the concept of valency. You will be able to understand and differentiate between atomic number, atomic mass number and understand isotopes and also able to determine the atomic masses of isotopes and you are able to know applications of isotopes. Let us revise what we have learnt in the atoms and molecules chapter that is previous chapter. So, the main concepts from atoms and molecules chapter today, the introduction, matter. Matter is anything in the world that occupies space and has mass. Solid, liquid, gas, matter is composed of tiny particles known as atoms. In previous topic, we have studied about Dalton's atomic theory. John Dalton was one of the great physicists. The main key points about atom according to the Dalton's theory, atoms are very small, indivisible, independently existing, ultimate particles of matter. Atoms of same elements have identical properties. Atoms neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Atoms of different elements have different properties. Atoms combine to give molecules. These are the key points in Dalton's atomic theory. From this theory, the conclusions of Dalton's theory led scientists to ask following questions. Why are the atoms of different elements different? For suppose, copper element atoms are 
having different properties from platinum atom. Is there anything inside the atom that make them to be same or different or atoms are indivisible? To answer these questions, the scientist tried and as the atoms are very small to be seen, scientists relied on experiments to find indirect evidence to prove the existence of atoms. In 1830, Michael Faraday discovered electrolysis experiment. Children, let us see this activity. A plastic scale rubbed on air, that scale getting charged. So, the plastic scale is a matter consisting of atoms. These atoms are charged so that piece of papers are attracted. Another experiment conducted by Michael Faraday discovered that atoms are getting charged in the famous experiment that is electrolysis experiment. In the electrolysis experiment, anode, cathode and molten sodium chloride has taken in electrolysis experiment. In this experiment, Michael Faraday discovered that atoms were acquiring charge. How could a neutral atom become electrically charged? According to Dalton's theory, atom neutral and indivisible. But during electrolysis process, Michael Faraday found that atoms are acquiring charge from where that charge is acquired by atoms. There must exist some tiny particle in atom which are responsible for atom to behave sometimes as a charged particle. It is contradiction to Dalton's indivisibility concept that is the basic concept of Dalton's theory. How an atom maintains its neutrality? Even though it consists of charged particles in it, atom maintains neutrality if it contains equal number of positive and negative constants inside of it. Electrical neutrality can be seen how many number of positive charges and the same number of negative charges if both are present in an atom then atom maintains its neutrality that is total positive charge equal to total negative charge. In science theories change when scientists discover new facts and clues. So, Dalton's proposed that atoms could not be divided but the experimental evidences began to show that atoms were divisible and are made up of small particles. These particles are smaller than the atom and are present inside an atom. They are called subatomic particles. Subatomic particles are very smaller particle than the atoms which are present in atom. Subatomic particles were discovered by different scientists by conducting several experiments. J. J. Thomson, the first scientist who did several experiments in cathode ray discharge tube found the negatively charged particles in matter. In 1897, J. J. Thomson discovered the negatively charged particle electron by conducting cathode ray tube experiment and he also found that all the matter, all the matter consisting of these negatively charged particles and named as electrons. He was the first scientist to show the atom was made of even smaller things. The electron, the first subatomic particles discovered and it is represented as E minus. The mass of electron is very small and negligible. The mass is 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 kg. The charge of an electron is 1 unit negative that is equal to minus 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. The next subatomic particle discovered in 1920, the, these particles balances the charge of electrons and uh, these particles are protons represented as p plus and the mass is 1836 times greater than electron mass that is 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 kg and the charge is 
equal to the charge of electron and it is 1 unit positive. That is plus 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. The next uh, subatomic particle neutron was discovered in 1932 by James Chadwick. The neutron is present in the nucleus of atom. It was discovered later that is represented as N0. The mass of neutron is almost equal to mass of proton that is 18 36 times heavier than the electron mass and charge of neutron is 0. These are the 3 subatomic particles which are present inside of atom. Children, we will do an activity to sketch the structure of atom as you imagine. In how many ways can you arrange these subatomic particles in a spherical shape? Subatomic particles present in an atom is electron, proton, and neutron. So many scientists try to explain about structure of atom. In the atom, subatomic particles are present. Arrangement of these subatomic particles inside the atom is its structure. J. J. Thomson was the first scientist who explained structure of atom in scientific way. Let us see Thomson's model of atom. In 1898, J.J. Thomson was proposed an atomic model commonly called as the plum pudding model, watermelon model. An atom is considered to be a sphere of uniform positive charge and electrons are embedded in it. The atom consisting of positive charge as a spherical cloud of positive charge and electrons were embedded in the sea of positive charge. This model is also called as plum pudding atomic model and this model also explained by taking example of watermelon. In the watermelon, the red color fruit pulp considered to be positive charge of an atom and the seeds of watermelon considered as electrons. The seeds are embedded in the positive fruit pulp. That is why it is also named as watermelon model of atom. The negative and the positive charges are supposed to balance out and the atom as a whole is electrically neutral. The mass of the atom is considered to be uniformly distributed throughout the atom. The main achievement of the Thomson's model of atom is it is explained electrical neutrality of the atom. The drawback of this atomic model the results of experiments carried out by other scientists could not explain by this model. It is the major drawback. Thomson's model was modified by one of his students, Ernest Rutherford, based on results of his experiments. The alpha particle scattering experiment conducted by Rutherford and his co workers. Ernest Rutherford was the student of J.J. Thomson, so, nuclear physicist. Let us see Rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment. Alpha particles are radioactive particles with two units of positive charge. Alpha particles are helium nucleus consisting of two protons and two neutrons. Helium is a gas. The atoms of helium consisting of two protons, two electrons. By removing two protons, helium two plus ion is formed alpha particles also having helium 2 plus. That means alpha particles are positively charged particles. Rutherford designed an experiment using fast moving alpha particles which were made to fall on a thin gold foil. Now the experimental setup for alpha particle scattering experiment. Children look at this picture. In this picture the arrangement of operators for alpha particle scattering experiment. The first one is source of alpha particles, the radioactive material which generates alpha particle and these particles are passing through a small sheet as a beam of alpha particles and a circular screen kept in the path of alpha particles and this screen is fluorescent screen and used as a detector to find scattered alpha particles. 
a thin gold foil kept in the way of alpha particles so that alpha particles irradiated on gold foil. This is the experimental setup for alpha particles scattering experiment. He selected gold foil because he wanted as thin layer as possible. This gold foil used for this experiment was about 1000 atoms thin because gold is a ideal metal which has highest malleability and ductility. The fast moving alpha particles have a considerable amount of energy so that these alpha particles will penetrate through gold foil. Before conducting Rutherford predicted that if J. J. Thomson's model was correct that is atoms are just positively charged lumps of matter in which electrons are embedded in them. The atom according to Thomson's model the positive charge uniformly distributed throughout the atom so that the entire positive charge uniformly distributed. Alpha particles are also positively charged particles so that here the alpha particles which are passing through gold atoms, gold atoms in this way. He predicted and sorry I am repeating now. Rutherford expected that all alpha particles would be deflected by the positive charge spread evenly throughout the gold atoms and he expected that small scattering angles no back scattering bouncing back of alpha particles. But Rutherford experiment actually happened that the alpha particles which are passing through gold foil most of the alpha particles passed through gold foil without any deviation in their path. Some of the alpha particles were deflected by the foil by small angles. Surprisingly one out of every 12,000 particles were deflected right back. By the observations Rutherford concluded that most of the space inside the atom is empty because most of the alpha particles passed through gold foil without getting deflected. Very few particles were deflected from their path indicating that the positive charge of the atom accumulated in very small region of space of atom. Very few particles were deflected that means bounced back from their path. That indicates that the positive charge and mass of the atom were concentrated in a very small region within the atom. Based on results of thin foil scattering experiment Rutherford's nuclear model of the atom there is a positively charged center in an atom called the nucleus. Nearly all the mass of atom resides in the nucleus. Rutherford model of atom the total positive charge of the atom and entire mass of the atom accumulated in small region of space inside the atom called nucleus. The electrons are present around the nucleus. Rutherford's model of atom is similar to the nuclear model of atom. As like planets in the solar system revolves around the sun, the electrons present inside of an atom revolves around the nucleus. The negatively charged electrons revolves around the nucleus in well defined orbits as like planets in solar system. The nucleus present inside the atom and around the nucleus in fixed circular orbits the electrons are revolving. So that this model is called as nuclear model of an atom. The size of the nucleus is very small when compared to the size of atom. The atomic radius was found that 100 picometers that is 10 power minus 10 meters. The nuclear radius that is 10 power minus 3 picometers 5 into 10 power minus 15 meters. So that the size of the nucleus is very very smaller than the size of the atom. The atom size 10 power 5 times bigger than the size of the nucleus. The drawbacks of Rutherford's model of atom. The revolution of the electron in circular orbit is not expected to be stable because electron is an 
negative is sorry electron is a negatively charged particle revolving around the nucleus in circular orbit the circular motion of electron circular motion of electron around the nucleus it may not be stable any charged particle motion in a circular orbit would undergo acceleration during this acceleration the charged particles would radiate energy thus the revolving electron would lose energy and finally fall into the nucleus so electron is being charged particle and is revolving around the nucleus in circular path so that electron can radiate energy when the electron radiating energy it is continuously loses its energy so that the energy of electron will reduce continuously due to the electrostatic attraction from the nucleus the electron may spiral to the nucleus that leads to collapse of an atom but practically it is not possible if this were so the atom should be highly unstable hence matter would collapse children till now we discussed about the subatomic particles thomson's model of atom and rutherford's model of atom drawbacks of rutherford's model of atom now let us see what we have learnt an atom is the smallest particle of an element that retains the identity of the element according to dalton atoms are very small indivisible particles that make up all matter all the atoms of the same element are identical in mass and size but atoms of different elements are different the three subatomic particles of an atom are electron negatively charged subatomic particle proton positively charged subatomic particle neutron zero charge it's neutral j j thomson developed a model of the atom that shows electrons embedded throughout the mass of positively charged material rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment is the basis for nuclear model of atom and as rutherford's model of the atom define nucleus children let us see how the alpha particles are generated from alpha particle source radioactive material and the generated alpha particles are passing through the slit and uh, they are moving in straight path in the path gold foil kept when the alpha particle hit that gold foil some of the alpha particles were deflected and uh, very few alpha particles are bounced back but most of the alpha particles without any deviation passed through the gold foil children after knowing the major drawback of rutherford's model of atom several scientists try to explain the structure of atom without any drawbacks niels bohr was the scientist explained the next model of atom let us see bohr's model of atom can you suggest any other arrangement of subatomic particles in the atom which prevents the revolving electron to fall into the nucleus in 1913 a danish scientist niels bohr suggested an atomic model to explain structure of atom and to overcome rutherford's limitations for example children think of a book arranged in a bookshelf they can be placed a higher shelf or lower shelf but never between the shelves according to niels bohr the electrons can be found in certain energy levels around the nucleus the electrons must gain energy to move to higher energy level or they must lose energy to move to lower energy level the electrons revolve round the nucleus in discrete fixed circular orbits of the atom these orbits or shells are called stationary energy levels the energy levels k l m n while revolving 
in these discrete orbits the electrons do not radiate energy and this is the reason why electrons do not fall into the nucleus. The electron orbits or shells are represented by the letters K, L, M, N or the numbers n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. The achievement of this Bohr's model of atom, it is successfully explained atomic spectra emitted by hydrogen atom and the limitation this model could not predict the spectra of atoms or ions with more than one electron. Bohr's model confined to only uni electronic species. Ok children, let us conclude our session with assignment. Let us improve our learning. What are the three subatomic particles? What were the three major observations Rutherford made in the gold foil experiment? What are the limitations of J. J. Thomson model of atom? Sorry. Children, today we have learnt about subatomic particles, structure of atom, atomic models, Thomson's model, Rutherford model and their drawbacks. We will discuss the other models of atom in our next session. Thank you. Goodbye.